welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell from the Bibi Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. Before I get started, I want to thank TV47 for allowing us to have this program. And um, I'm excited today, as I am with every program, but today talking with a, a classmate, sort of. <laughs> Teresa and I both went to high school together around the same time. Teresa Confel is joining me today. She is a hometown girl, grew up here, worked here, has retired, has written some books. And um, I, before we get started, I have to tell you, Teresa, what pr prompted me to call you is, is the cookbook that you wrote. So okay. we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. But uh, uh, tell, tell our audience about yourself. Well, I've lived here all of my life. I um, graduated from Sylacauga High School. Uh, so did my husband and my daughter. Uh, we've been married uh, 44 years. Uh, our daughter is a park ranger. <clears throat> And um, I have a little granddaughter and a son-in-law. And I have two sisters, a sister-in-law, three brothers-in-laws, <laughs> a whole bunch of nieces and nephews. Oh. Um, all my grandparents have passed away, but I have loads of memories with all of them. Oh. Lots of family and friends that still live in Sylacauga yeah. and really all over the place. That's great. Well. Uh, I know Teresa has written some books, and I, uh, like I said, the family and friends part you were speaking of, it's just what prompt, prompt, prompted me to call you with all your, the traveling you've done and all kinds of things like that. It's been uh, so much fun to read about. We're friends on Facebook, I think. Too. Yes. <laughs> so I see about all your travels, and that is neat. That's so nice that your family is still close by, or enough of them are close enough by that you can still get, get, get together and do things. Right, right. right. Now you worked with the school system, right, didn't you too? I did. After I graduated, um, I worked for a dental office. Okay. And then I went um, to Dixie Color and worked for a short period of time, had my daughter, and I was that stay-home mom for three oh, and a half years. And wonderful. it was that was probably the best job I've ever had. Yes. And then um, I went back to work at a lawyer's office, and then I got the school job. So wow. I worked for the Sylacauga City Schools for about 25 years good. at the high school in the library, uh -huh. of course. Oh, good. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, in the computer lab, and then I went to Nichols Lawson for about a year and a half before I retired. Oh, okay. So, um, yes, and I learned so much more about kids then probably I needed to know at the time. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just oh, kidding. They're yeah. wonderful children. They really are. We have a lot of good kids in our town. We do. We do. And I know you were a large part of a, a lot of that. I know. Thank you. And when your daughter was growing up, how, you got involved in photography. Is that I right? did. Um, I've always loved pictures. Uh -huh. uh, when I was in high school, uh, Miss Hilton, our journalism oh, teacher, yes. took us to uh, JSU for a journalism oh, field trip right. and we went out and took pictures and there was um, a dark room so after that I was like I want a dark room oh, because yeah. you know it was film right. and that that didn't happen of course but um, I, that still I think when the love of photography really set in right. was back in high school goodness that's great now I'm, now I do digital and Sometimes that's hard because I really love film. Oh, but really? <laughs> yes, but that's okay. Huh. Um, so it just went on from there, and then I worked at when I was at the high school. I did photography, like the soccer teams, yes. and then I took some basketball, football, softball. I did a lot oh, of the, the activities the kids did, it, right. like proms, not actual prom, but lead out and stuff. Right. And then um, I know the parents were very <laughs> appreciative because not. You know, most parents try to go to all the games, but you can't always get to everything. So I know they were so glad to see to see those uh, snapshots of their children doing. Well, that. it was funny. A time or two, people would say, "Well, I'm not even getting my camera out because Teresa will be <laughs> here to take pictures." But my family wow. and I made photo albums. Some years there were like 66 players plus the coaches and the managers, wow. and we tried our best to give each player 100 photos or more. Oh there were photos goodness. everywhere. I've taken millions of photos over the I years bet. and loved every bit of it. Was oh I tired? God. Oh, yes. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but was it fun? Yes, that oh, too. I bet. Did you have any, in, in, any training or you just got the training for photography on the job? Kind of? No training. I just do it. And I'm a snapshot photographer. Okay. I like to take snapshots. I don't mm -hmm. really like anything 
posed. Now, I will do those. I've done a, two or three weddings before oh, as okay. a snapshot photographer. Yes, yes. No, they know I'm not professional yeah. and that I don't like posed pictures. Oh. But, but I will do them. <laughs> Those are the best. I mean, the ones that are not posed are the best to they me really are. because you catch people like they really are. Yes. You know, I don't always like <laughs> them of me, but it's okay. But it is the best if you want to capture uh, the way someone, you know, the way they really are. Yes. Well, that is neat. And so you were involved in journalism also. So you were a writer, so to speak, when you, in well, high school? Well, we maybe? did do some writing and then. Um, Tim Hepson and I were co-editors of the yearbook mm -hmm. our senior year. Mm -hmm. And so, again, there's the photography thing mm -hmm. with, with some writing. Uh, we didn't have as much writing in our yearbooks in the 70s as there yeah. is today. Right. Um, now that I look back, I really wish there had been more writing mm -hmm. because um, that was fun. Right. The mm -hmm. writing part was fun. Goodness, well, how fun! Uh, that is neat. So you've and you've carried the writing on to your books, the photography. Exactly. I'm sure you still take uh, s snapshots and things. Yes. Of your granddaughter and other people. <laughs> I do. My camera doesn't go with me as much as it used to, mm -hmm. because phones do a lot of that now. But, oh, that's right. But I still have my. I mean, I still have two nice cameras and lots of lenses so that's right I hadn't thought of that most people just use their phone a lot do, yes. I do because I, I wouldn't know how to use a nice camera probably <laughs> yeah <laughs> you great. can do it <laughs> <laughs> well good there's hope maybe that, yes. that is great and you love traveling have, have you always been a traveler um, my family always went to the beach and so some of my favorite memories are of the beach right. then we ventured out a little more and visited relatives in Georgia and Tennessee and so on yeah um, but the traveling bug really bit me when I had a cousin stationed in Germany. Oh, and wow. so Doyle and Beth, our daughter, and I, she was 11, Beth was, and we traveled to Germany and visited six or seven different countries. Oh, goodness. And when I came back, I was a changed person. I, I mean, we have a beautiful country, but the whole world is beautiful. Yes. It, it really is. So now, I have two more states, and I will have visited all 50. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm excited. That is great. What, what are they? I'm just curious. <laughs> New Mexico and uh -huh. Hawaii. Oh, and okay. It's too bad I can't get them in the same trip. Yeah, I don't know how you could do that. <laughs> no, I don't know. Having two, two, two trips would be fun, too. Oh, well, yeah. We usually go on long road trips about every two years. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, how about, does your whole family go? I know. Just uh, Doyle sometimes. and I, well, sometimes Doyle doesn't get to go, my husband. Right. But uh, Beth and Hannah, now that she's here, and yeah. Lee and his parents. Oh. So before the dads came with us, it was me, Lee's mom, yeah. Beth and Lee. Oh, well, there's the four of us, and we've gone mostly national parks because Beth is a park ranger. Oh, so. yes. Yes. That's great. <laughs> well, how fun. That sounds like fun, uh, having fun together with your husband and with the rest of your family. Right, That's yes. That's right. Well, we're going to pause for a commercial break and we'll be right back and talk some more with Teresa. The Maxi Beasy Senior Adult Activity Center offers to senior citizens in the Sylacauga and surrounding areas lots of fantastic activities throughout the week. Sewing, ladies bridge, quilting, game of rama ceramic classes, bingo, travel club, and lots more. It's all at the Maxi Beasy Senior Adult Activity Center located next to the J. Craig Smith Community Center in Sylacauga. Don't spend any more time alone. Get out, make new friends, and have fun. Sulacaga's best kept secret? No more. Harvey's on Noble is the place to go for the area's best food and drinks. Whether you're in the mood for steak, burgers, salad, seafood, or dessert, Harvey's on Noble will not disappoint, and the atmosphere is perfect for catching the big game or just relaxing after work. Harvey's is open for dinner Wednesday through Saturdays. So round up the family and we'll see you at Harvey's on Noble, downtown Sylacauga. Great. What am I going to do now? Time to visit Brown's Auto Collision. No problem at all. We've contacted your insurance company and we can get you back into regional condition right away. And I just want to remind you that all of our work is covered by a lifetime warranty. We're done. Wow, that was easy and looks great. Brown's Auto Collision. Where, where quality, quality is no accident. accident. 
Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking to Teresa Conville, who is a hometown girl, a graduate of uh, the high, high, high school, just like I was, <laughs> Sylacauga High School. And we're talking about her uh, love of, of Sylacauga and of traveling and of writing. And uh, I know you've written some books, Teresa. Have you always w wanted to write books, or was that some, something right after you retired you decided to do, or what? Well, I, that's, that's an interesting story. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> it started um, when I was traveling. My friends, well, Facebook had a lot to do with it because I would post little stories about where I'd been and some yes. pictures. And people would say, um, you need to write a book on your travels, yeah. Traveling Teresa. <laughs> and I always had a little red suitcase and I made up little red suitcase stories. Uh -oh. And so they would say, <clears throat> you need to include your little red suitcase and then one day one of my friends said just put them together and so that's how it actually came about Oh! but a friend of mine uh, a kindergarten teacher back in the 90s uh -huh. um, wanted me to take Flat Stanley on one of my trips to France yes. so I took Flat Stanley and took pictures <clears throat> all over Paris and London mm -hmm. and when I got home I took and had the pictures developed and put them on a little piece of construction paper and put where they were and gave each one of her kindergarten children a picture of Flat Stanley on his travels. Wow. And so that just sort of got it started and I thought, well, maybe I need a Traveling Teresa doll. Yeah. So Peggy Ogletree uh -huh. put her together for me. Mindy Buckley, an artist, painted her face, and off she went with me on my travels. Oh, wow, how neat. And then the first book, Traveling Teresa Chronicles, Myst um, Mystery of the Little Red Suitcase. Yes, that was. Um, and there. And there's the other book. That was, this was the first one. Right. Then there's the cookbook in the middle, the cookie recipe book, and the beginnings of the Little Red Suitcase. All yes. Right. The mystery came first, and mm -hmm. it was just a fun story that includes a lot about uh, my family. Now, okay. if you know my family, you'll know the parts that are about them. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> but it's all, you know, it's not real. It's, it's memories and things that I've sort of made up and added to. Oh, that's so, okay. um, but it's just a little fun story about loving your grandparents and doing things with them and your family and just being kind. And then there's a little bit of mystery in there and the suitcase takes uh -huh. a, Teresa on a, a little trip to my favorite place. Oh, wow. Now what's your favorite place? <laughs> we'll have to Paris. Oh, <laughs> how fun. But, let, um, that is neat. So this came out in 2018. 2018, that's mm -hmm. right. And now you've written the beginnings of the look, kind of the backstory. The, the yes, picture. that yeah. is the backstory. And it actually is two stories in one. Okay. Yeah. Because the backstory involves um, a distant relative of Traveling Teresa. Okay. okay. Yeah. I haven't finished reading this one, I know. And the recipe book which is probably going to be my favorite. I just love this. This is fun. It's Baking Day. Yay! Cookie re Recipe Book. Traveling Teresa and Sweet Pea. Now tell them who Sweet Pea is. Sweet Pea is Traveling Teresa's uh, grandmother. Mm -hmm. And that's just a name that I would call uh, kids sometimes at school. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I call my little granddaughter Hannah. I'll say, well, Sweet Pea, you know, and it's just right. a little name. So I thought that would be a great one for the grandmother. Yes. And so um, that book actually came about by accident uh -huh. in between those two right there. That was not, that is not part of the series. Okay. Um, a friend of mine, Ronnie Sims, and I were talking about, I asked uh -huh. her, could she make a cookie? Oh, and then I'm we just started yeah. talking about cookies, and uh. then that's how, and I'm not a baker, which <laughs> makes it even funnier. Well, but, there's hope for people like <laughs> me then to make cookies. Yes. Oh, wow. So I had uh, friends test uh -huh. the recipes. And the book is really more for spending time with family. Mm -hmm. And you can follow the recipes. You can tweak them, do whatever right. you want to. The main thing is doing something together with your family and creating memories. I read through this one. I love the little story. Yes. With, that goes with each of the, of the of the cookies, sweet pea stained glass star cookies. Uh, it just looks like I mean, traveling Teresa and sweet pea were having some fun <laughs> they were. cooking together. And I guess did did you cook with your grandmothers or something? I did. Both my grandmothers yeah. used to cook, and one oh. was more of a um, 
I would call her more of a baker, I guess, because okay. she did more pies and things like that. My other grandmother was more that good Southern cooking, oh, although yeah. they both both did it. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. And one part I loved in the back is the bakers and taste testers. All of the people who helped you with the cookies, right? The yes. recipes. And I see lots of uh, moms and daughters and maybe grandmothers, some dads, some lots of families. So yes. they were making memories together also. Right. And I want to involve the community in, uh -huh. in my books in some way, whether it is a family, a member, a friend, or neighbors uh -huh. right. and so I thought you know I don't have time to test all these cookies right. I'll find somebody so I just started sending messages and asking people to help me did did they cook some of them is that what they, they had they that? yes they actually had to make all of them send me pictures so I could see them baking okay. and everything and so um, I had a couple say well change this or change that but the main uh -huh. thing is if they want to change something while they're baking, especially if, if you're a baker and you know that's not quite enough sugar right. or whatever, change it. It's all for fun. Right. I know off, off camera we said if 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 they turn out and taste great, wonderful. <laughs> right. If they don't, then it's okay too. It's okay. You've had fun and to me it just kind of makes a fun story. It, <laughs> it is. But it that is. is so neat how you involved. Like I see, I see some dads on here. Maybe yes. granddads, parents, and they had a good time cooking together. I think so. I'm sure. That is so cool. Uh, well, we're going to take another commercial break and we'll be right back and talk some more with Teresa Conville. The Maxi Veezy Senior Adult Activity Center offers to senior citizens in the Sylacauga and surrounding areas lots of fantastic activities throughout the week. Sewing, ladies bridge, quilting, game of rama ceramic classes, bingo, travel club, and lots more. It's all at the Maxi Veezy Senior Adult Activity Center located next to the J. Craig Smith Community Center in Sylacauga. Don't spend any more time alone. Get out, make new friends, and have fun. Sulacaga's best kept secret? No more. Harvey's on Noble is the place to go for the area's best food and drinks. Whether you're in the mood for steak, burgers, salads, seafood, or dessert, Harvey's on Noble will not disappoint, and the atmosphere is perfect for catching the big game or just relaxing after work. Harvey's is open for dinner Wednesday through Saturdays. So round up the family and we'll see you at Harvey's on Noble, downtown Sylacauga. Great. What am I going to do now? Time to visit Brown's Auto Collision. No problem at all. We've contacted your insurance company and we can get you back into regional condition right away. And I just want to remind you that all of our work is covered by a lifetime warranty. We're done. Wow, that was easy and looks great. Brown's Auto Collision. Where, where quality is no accident. Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Teresa Conville, who grew up and worked and lived here in Silicaga, raised her family. She's written some books, and we're talking about spending time together with family and friends, which you've done a lot of that traveling and baking and things like that. Um, let's look at the slides that you sent me, though. I don't want to. I don't want to forget those. We'll look through those. Okay. Now, tell about this. Well, uh, traveling <coughs> Teresa is right in the center, and then she has Papa and Sweet Pea, her grandparents. And then there's Charlie, who is autistic. Oh. And then Teresa's little brother, Tyler, and a friend, Blaze. And then Teresa's best friend, Chloe, with the cute hairdo and uh -huh. the purse. And then there's um, Gloria and Clementine and Blaze. Okay. Not Blaze, I'm sorry, that's Alfonso. <laughs> Blaze is on the other side. Right. Uh, and of course, a little red suitcase. Oh, goodness. So these are Teresa's family and friends. Now she has a mom and dad, of course, and right. they'll be in the next book. Oh, okay. Oh, good, good. Okay. Well, that and just oh, and now who is this? <laughs> oh, that's my sweet grand, uh, granddaughter Hannah. Yes. That was at Cup of Grace when um, the cookie recipe book came out. Oh, and I love the shirt with the traveling tree <laughs> with her little pigtails. I love yes. that. This is our community uh, participation yes. Yes. at Christmas. That was that was one of the uh, light light pole. Light pole, um, yes. That was so cute. Mm -hmm. Traveling. I have Teresa. a cousin who helped me do that. She oh, did a good job. God. And the fall one, yeah. Yes. 
that was that was such a fun thing. We had one, for, you know, for Christmas and for the fall at, from the library. Li li it was library fun. Also. We enjoyed it. Nice to see in town. That was a visit to a school okay. and reading part of the book. Oh, good. I know the kids enjoyed that. Ah, uh, be kind. That's so, so dear to me. Yes. yes, be kind. It's important. It is. It is. All right, I know I see uh, your motto is work hard, learn something, and have fun. Yes. How, how did you come up with I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, part of that goes back to my parents always teaching mm -hmm. us to do your best. Uh, you can work hard and do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. Just put your everything mm -hmm. into it. Uh, you'll learn something when you're doing it. Right. And the fun will just happen. So I used to tell the kids at the high school all the time, work hard, learn something, and have fun. Oh, good. They say, Miss Conville? I say, no, <laughs> believe me, try it. Yes. Let them get just a little bit older, and then it'll mean more. Yes. That's true. Because you will have fun. You, Even though you really it is will. work, and it's learning. That's it right. still can be fun. It That's will be great. fun. Well, I know you made a great Im impact on them. They may not have thought Thank so you. at the time, <laughs> but I'm sure you did. I know. Um, <clears throat> I know we talked about traveling with your daughter and your granddaughter and other families. H have you had any uh, any particular fun times with them? I know traveling is just fun. <laughs> it is fun. My daughter and I uh, have always tried to go on a short girls trip. Good. Um, We've gone lots of places. Mm -hmm. My sisters and I have gone places um, with Beth as our chaperone. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we goodness. went to Las Vegas to oh. see Donny Osmond, Donny and Marie, and oh, so How Beth fun. was the chaperone. Yeah, and he actually talked to me during the show. You're kidding? No, I'm not. That's wow. My heart was yes, like, be still. I'm, yeah, Osmond Brothers, I'm with you I right know. there. I love that. Uh, but with Hannah, she, on, on our trips now, she is so funny. She is quick-witted, and, and she's not even yeah. seven years old, but oh, yet she goodness. is so much fun. I know, you have fun. Well, do you scrap scrapbook? I hate to, I didn't tell you I was going to ask that question. I am not a scrapbooker. but uh, No, I have photo albums from the past, and then I have right. loads of uh, photos on my computers. And then, yes. thankfully, Facebook makes it possible for us to have photo albums. And That's so, true. I have a lot of my albums there, although mm -hmm. I do have... I don't know, over 100 SD cards probably, oh my four goodness. external hard drives. Uh, wow. I mean, there's loads of pictures everywhere. God, that's great. I know. Years from now, your family will enjoy that. Have fun. Uh, do you have any trips coming up to New Mexico or Hawaii <laughs> or anywhere like that? Any plans you're making? That way? Well, not yet, but Beth always plans our trips. We, we just got back from Alaska a couple, oh. three weeks ago, and which we had to put off because of COVID. Oh, yeah. So um, that was fun. We flew mm -hmm. and then we took a road trip. Oh. If I, I've cruised and I, that's what I really wanted to do, yes. but it was an awesome two-week road trip in Alaska. Oh, wow. I bet. Yes. I know Hannah enjoyed it. So oh, young, she did. So getting to see so much of the country. That's yes. Mm -hmm. And I know you enjoyed getting to watch her see it all for the first time. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, how fun. She is loads of fun. Well, I'm glad she lives close <laughs> enough by where y'all can have a good time together and still, and your family and all that. Me too. Do you have any other books planned? Yes, I'm, uh, the third book in the series is mm -hmm. I'm working on now. Okay. And so um, part of it takes place in um, a school setting. Okay. And then, um, but I won't share the part, the... No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. So just be looking for it. <laughs> okay, good, good. I've always wanted to know, too, when you start writing a series of books, mm -hmm. do you have in mind the entire series, or is it just kind of, or can you, you <laughs> may not should even answer that. I don't know. Well, most people probably do, but I don't. <laughs> well, that's fine. I just write what comes, mm -hmm. which, in fact, the first book was really only supposed to be about a 10-page book oh. for, like, uh -huh. For like um, maybe five or six year old, 
Yeah. And then my coach started working with me. She said, keep try keep writing, keep writing. Right. And so it ended up being like 60-something pages. Oh, okay, yeah. For older, a little bit older sure, children. Sure, yes, who can understand traveling and, and uh, little red suit. You still travel with your little red suitcase? <laughs> I do, although <laughs> I ha I've had more than one now. So. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yes. That is nice. But now, you. the books are for lots of ages. It okay. doesn't have to necessarily be like 7 to 11 or whatever. Right. It can be... Even adults like them. So. Oh, yeah, I did. I enjoyed them. And I <laughs> find it's even fun to read to yo younger, now not a two-year-old, but a, no. a, a younger child, because you read one, you know, so many pages a night, a cha chapter a night, and it helps build their love of reading and learning. I and think. vocabulary. And yes, you are so <laughs> right. You are so right. That's great. Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to ask you. You said you've got another book in the works, so we'll be lo looking for the, your website. Tell us about your okay, website. Okay, the website is uh, uh, being worked on right now, oh, okay. doing a little revamping. So it's uh, travelingteresa.com. Traveling Teresa has a Facebook page and, uh, okay. and an yeah. Instagram yes. account. Okay. But you can find me at mm -hmm. Teresa Bishop Conville uh -huh. on both places. So. And I noticed you had games and things on your website. Yes. When, when, and I know it, every once in a while, everybody has to re revamp those things every once yes. in a while. Yes, trying to make it fun. And there's yeah. how to play croquet, because uh -huh. that's in one of the books. Yes. They play yeah. croquet, and so the instructions on how to play croquet. And we played that growing up. So that, see, that's... That was my next question. Mm -hmm. Oh, how fun. I have a set, too. I haven't. We haven't played in a long time, but... Uh, Actually, during COVID, we pulled out a few of those things, the bad, right. badminton and the croquet, but it doesn't have to be a pandemic. No, to no, do it doesn't. Like, <laughs> yeah, gosh. I know you try and do some, some of those things with, with Hannah, especially, just yes. to build those memories. We do. That's we, cool. we haven't played croquet, but Dole will get out in the backyard and play uh, baseball with her and, Aww. you know, we, we, whatever she wants to do. That's fun. And I know our lives are so busy now, but I guess... Yes. We all make time for what's important to us or what, what we want to make time for. So. Right. And family and friends, to me, are yes. so important. That's great. Well, that's what, that's what the books are about. I mean, traveling yes. and, and having fun and baking, even though you're not a baker. I, I'm sorry. I find <laughs> that kind of funny. I am not a cook. I am not a cook. I don't me claim either. to be a cook. But that's interesting. But it's not about the cooking. It's about the no, time No, it's about together. the time together. That is wonderful. Well, I just appreciate you being here today. I've I'm enjoyed it. I think everybody has enjoyed <laughs> I know they have enjoyed hearing about the books, the baking, about about the things you did uh, growing up and how it got you to this point. You are you are enjoying your retirement. <laughs> I am. As much as you enjoyed working, I think. Probably. I am. That yes, I loved my jobs. All Every job I ever had, I loved it. Oh, that's great. But this that's is awesome. the best one so far. <laughs> good, good. Well, thank you, Teresa, for being here, and we'll look for your next book. And thank you so much for joining us on Library Connection. Thank you.